Ahoy, YouTube mateys! Where you be? Oh, yeah, there you are! Oh, yeah, there you are there! Okay, did a little good workout this morning again. Foot out like four times in a row every day in the past four days or so. And showered. Good grooming. Normally I look disheveled as shit. And if you think I look disheveled now, which honestly I don't think I do, um, yeah, you should have seen, seen me earlier. Ooh, insanity. Anyways, so, I've been thinking about minimalist. And I realized how much of a survival mode I'm in, but not earning money. I'm kind of tucked away, feeling like a homeless person, although trying to be as professional as I can, doing as much work as I can, you know, in someone else's house, which is my parents' house, and they're out here, and it's full of all these tacky wallpaperings, and, I mean, there's some cool stuff in it, some part of it, their house are awesome, but some of it's... It's old people house. It's like grandma grandpa's house, you know? It smells weird, it's dusty, it's got all those weird little trinkets. Eek. So I'm thinking of like, I, I've never really had a place of my own. The closest thing I had was when I was living off LaSalle Street in Chicago, which sucked, I didn't like the environment, but the actual place was a high rise, it was minimalist, it had crap carpet floors, so I can't fucking stand it all. But I mean, so I'm liking this idea of minimalist. I'm looking at this $150 Boss leather plus chair, and this L-shaped desk, I put a bid in on eBay for the Bloggy Touch, which I think will, which is just great. <clears throat> put a bid in for 95, max bid. I'll go as high as 120, probably. The great, because it'll solve my um, camera. It does 12 megapixel still cameras. My current one does eight, so it's already an upgrade there. No flash, but who cares? I could use normal lighting. Sometimes the flash makes lighting look messed up anyways. And, um, is I can use camcorder for cats, and it has 8 gigs on it. And I still have this interest in, in a touch screen, a Dell Streak 5, or an iPod Touch, 64 gigs. Um, honestly, although I'm boycotting Apple because the products are way too expensive, their music products, the Shuffle and the iPod Touch, not the phone, not the MacBook, I think might be a good way to go. But, oh, I'm so awesome, I'm going to get rid of the and everything, that'd be so cool! Oh! But the financial independence part of that. And another thing I was like, I gotta go to a place where I can have sex with women. <laughs> Comfortably. And I mean, I, I'm very inhibited right that now, because I'm, I'm in my parents' houses. It's fucked up! I mean, they aren't here. They're kind of letting me stay here. They're in another place. But still, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's old. Some of it's old person house shit. Like, stuff I would never have in my own place. Ever. Some of it's acceptable. It just... The point is, it's someone else's shit. It's not mine. And, um, you know, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to connect with. So, here's a couple of my mind agreement principles. Oh, I love my cats! I gotta get into my own place! That house with minimalism! And that'll be really exciting and everything! And then I can move forward to it! And I got an awesome desk with a little bit of on the awesome desk! And the minimalist and that cool whiteness and black stuff! And that'll be awesome with the touch screen stuff! And no ebooks and like reading and then like nature connection and like doing hikes when I probably put my cats for a week! And I even had I haven't even had coffee yet! This is coffee and I haven't drank it at all. Look, see? <laughs> No coffee yet, just natural energy. Probably a little bit of rage, a little bit of excitement, a little bit of, I don't know, just wanting to be loud. And I can't be loud here, which I love. It's healthy, I recommend scream therapy. It's quite therapeutically alleviating and pretty awesome in many ways. Um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that'd be so awesome, I gotta get rid of I gotta get my old friends with the pants, I gotta connect with atheists on a regular basis. That'd be so sweet, that'd be good, that'd be good, that'd be good. Okay, and I gotta move on into like the director right store, I gotta all this film for this, and I gotta organize it and upload it, and then get more of a system with that, because with LibreVox, I got a great system, because it's organized, and then I like, upload it and everything, and then it becomes probably not less problematic, because it's like, when this one is what I, 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 I upload it, done complete. That was it's like jumbo, I can't have that close, I gotta clarify my desk space. And I think. Doing that properly is going to involve a dual screen, finally getting a Dell tower, and a proper desk space with a desk chair. Like, I'm in this little fucking, like, little crap chair. It sucks. And you know what? I'm not going to be like, well, I was homeless last year. True. So I shouldn't be complaining. But you know what? I am fucking complaining. I'm fucking complaining! I need a fucking desk space! I spent like ten hours a day at the desk! <sighs> so... That'd be awesome, and I, I need my own fucking place! 
We're gonna bring women up. My parents are like, you and all your girlfriends. But they don't say it in a nice way. They say it in a condescending, chiding, reprimanding way. Fucking wankers. They have support of me and my girlfriends. Um, I know that's why my, my brothers haven't been dating. I mean, they're very attractive and intelligent as well. More intelligent than I am in some ways. Although that may be hard to believe. <laughs> They're, we were all, we all have unique strengths. I don't really care about them, actually. They don't really care about me. Oh, there we go. Anyways, so yeah, getting the desk place for stuff, and then mobility, getting the hiking in, and I do have this interest in Oz, France. There's all these things. I'm gonna try to swoosh pattern them in, which is an NLP technique. Um, I can swoosh pattern them in. Um, right, so there's basically the desk space, minimalist living area, place to bring friends, place for cats, Hiking proximity, um, minimalist furniture, awesome comfort thing. Only things I would use. Like here's two, here's two things again. My rechargeable batteries and my battery recharge battery charger. I use that. I've got a Ziploc bag. The batteries need to be charged. Going one Ziploc. The charge batteries going another Ziploc, and both those contain the larger Ziploc bags. I use that. It has a cycle. Everything gets used. It it, it, it gives energy to all my electronic devices. That's awesome. I love that efficiency. Another thing is my electric Norelco shaver. Another awesome thing. I shave the back of my my hair, make myself a haircut, shave my sideburns, shave my mustache, shave my face. Every day I use that. It has massive utility. That's so useful. I love that. I need more things like that and less things that aren't like that. Like a lot of other junk. Like I got this. I need. I love ebooks, and I loved reading on a touch screen. Look at all these cat. I loved reading on a touch screen. Um, it was happened to be an iPad iPhone, which is rubbish, but an iPod Touch would suffice, as well as Dale Streak. But the Kindle software says, love the Kindle software! Syncing and ebooks, but the Kindle device, the clunky shit thing, it's only good for hiking, it's the long battery life. And when I go hiking, I'll use that. See, see this is another thing. I, I, I want to go hiking, I've been accumulating hiking gear. I get tent, I get Kindle reading device, I'm getting a little solar charger, all this awesome stuff, but then I don't use it. I don't fucking utilize it. I just randomly end up in hiking situations, which is okay, because I'd, I'd rather be in a hiking situation than not, but I'd rather to plan it, I mean, I just have to find a place for my cats for a couple weeks, and I have to find transportation there, and then, I, I mean, I like privacy when I go hiking, I don't like, I don't like being on fucking trails, I like bushwhacking, I like being in a place where nobody's ever freaking been, ever, I love that, I love it, I say, I love it, so yeah, that's, um, that's a quick update. Um, I'm feeling less overwhelmed with electronic stuff. I'm, the touch screen, iPod Touch or Dell Streak, is totally on my radar now. It was before, it was just some distance, we, distant weird thing that only Bill Gates had. And, you know, I had my iPhone is rubbish. I think I only had a 16 gig then. So this would be over four times as much. And I have a 16 gig? I might be able to find that out. I think it was a second gen, a first gen. I forget. I don't really care. But I mean, I, I thought I was totally boycotting Apple products, and I am, because their MacBooks are too heavy, they're clunky, I hate, I hate Mac desktop software, I don't use it. I'm, this is the fucking iMac right here, but it's running Windows 7. Booyah! And um, it also is running Linux at times, various weird random times. Voice work is incredibly meaningful to me. Uh, so is NLP. NLP helps achieve stuff in some ways. But I gotta get to a place that, it's just, it's just gonna be a very small place, a very small kitchen, but it's mine, it's like minimalist. And I mean, I'm trying to create that. I'm trying to gnaw out a place in that where I've been staying in a hostel or a hotel or a parent place or somebody else's place. And it doesn't fucking work. I need a place of my own. But I, but I gnaw out a place. I guess when you earn money, what people do is they essentially kind of gnaw out a little nook in the world of their own. I mean, that's what I did when I was living in the bush. And it was awesome. I love my kids. And I gotta, but I'm interested in hiking, too. So I've got to find a place for them inexpensively. All oh, these cat hotels are fucking ripoffs. I'll find a friend. We'll do cat swaps. A friend, I'll watch their cats when they go somewhere, and the friend will watch my cats when I go somewhere. That, that, that'd be great. So, I mean, that's that's a good reason to have some friends. And, yeah. Women as friends, that's good. But, you know, here's another thing. I don't, I should probably say this for another one, but whatever. You know, <clears throat> WKF thing is something that's not really, I don't like doing that. So the one thing that's not been able to do, just having a place of my own. It's like grooming and cleaning myself has sensitized myself to how I don't really have a place of my own at times. And so, anyways, this is pretty good. Things are pretty good. 
been working out consistently, showering consistently, feeling clean, feeling good. Normally I just feel so fucking miserable because of not having income, being around stupid religious wankers. So the opposite of that, earning income and uh, atheists can't with. So it would be uplifting. So I've been showering, like cleaning myself and living as best I could the way I would if I had that income. So jolly good.